Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the success. In today's video we're going to be going through 10 rags to riches entrepreneur stories. Now without any further ado let's just get straight into this countdown. Number 1. Leonardo Del Vecchio grew up in an orphanage before deserving a place. Well, on your face. After working in a factory and making molds for auto parts and eyeglasses, the video started his own business by the age of 23. That business is now Luxottica, manufacturing your favorite eyeglasses brands like Raven or Oakley. He now has a net worth of over $10 billion. Number 2. Jan Com is the man behind every WhatsApp that you have ever sent or received. He is the founder of the popular messaging service and his story got into the spotlight once the startup was acquired by Facebook in 2014 for not less than $90 billion. Jan was born and raised in Ukraine into a small poor village near Kiev, living in a small house with no hot water or television. When he turned 16, he immigrated to California with his mother and by the age of 18, he was already an experienced hacker. Meanwhile, he was sweeping the floor at grocery stores to help his mother pay the bills. His hard work finally paid out in 1997 when Jan got a job at Yahoo as an infrastructure engineer. But this wasn't enough for the talented programmer, and so he developed the world's most used mobile messaging service. Now in his late 30s, Com has a net worth of $7.8 billion, being one of the most recent success stories in the tech industry. Number 3. Now let's turn our heads to the TV personalities, more exactly to Oprah Winfrey. The young Oprah faced a hard and cruel childhood. She grew up in poverty, being raped and molested repeatedly by two members of her family and even one of her friends and ending up homeless and pregnant by the age of 13. However, she never stopped dreaming and at the age of 19, she got her first job at a radio station. Since then, her natural born talent kept her on the path to success and by 2015, Oprah is worth $2.7 billion. Number 4. Mother Russia comes Roman Abramovich, one of the world's finest entrepreneurs. Now worth $9.1 billion, owning Millhouse LLC and Chelsea Football Club, he became an orphan by the age of 4 when both of his parents tragically died. He was raised by his grandmother and in his early 20s, he worked as a street trader and as a mechanic. He made his first step in business by selling rubber ducks from his Moscow apartment and later he found his own doll manufacturing company. Moving forward, he tried his luck with various startups until he eventually found huge success in the aluminium, oil, and gas industries. Number 5. Li Kaixing is now the world's richest East Asian, but his early days were far from milk and honey. His father died when he was only 15 years old. He had to quit school and work in a plastic factory in order to support his poor family. In 1950, he started his own company, Chun Conch Industries, dealing with different activities from plastic manufacturing up to real estate. Now, he also impressively portfolios businesses in around 11 different industries, which are spread all around the world. His net worth is estimated at around $32 billion. That's just absolutely insane. Number 6. Chris Gardiner is the living proof that everything is possible if you want it hard enough. The odds were against him for half of his life, but he managed to raise up the ashes and become a successful entrepreneur. A talented stockbroker and investor and the bestseller author with a net worth of over $60 million. After being abused by his stepfather and spending most of his childhood in foster care, after facing a failed marriage and becoming a homeless father with the child in his care, he managed to stand up and he gave birth to Christopher Gardiner's International Holdings, a multi-million dollar company that turned his miserable life into the dream he was pursuing. He published published a book about his life and later, this story became a Hollywood hit. The Pursuit of Happiness movie inspired by Gardner's book got his main actor, Will Smith, an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Number 7. Sam Walton, father of Walmart, was once milking cows and selling magazine descriptions for a living. After graduating University of Missouri with a bachelor's degree in economics, he took his $5,000 savings from his army service and loaned another 20 grand from his father-in-law to buy a variety store in Arkansas. And from that point on, he built Walmart, the largest retailer in the world, valued at over $261 billion. Guys, if that isn't a successful investment, then I don't know what is. Number 8. John Paul DeJora's early ages were nothing but struggle and hardship. Young John had to sell newspapers and Christmas cards by the age of 9 in order to support his family. After his parents divorced, he was placed in a foster home and later he joined a street gang. But after being told that he would never succeed in anything in his life, he decided to prove the opposite. 
DeJore started by working as a janitor and then as an insurance salesman, but one day he loaned $700 and turned them into John Paul Mitchell Systems Company, a billion dollar business of hair care products. Then he came up to 70% of the Patent Spirits Company, a premium tequila brand and today his net worth exceeds $2.8 billion. Number 9. How do you get from living on the top of a garage into a net worth of $1.7 billion? Ask Richard Desmond because he has the answer to this question. He quit school by the age of 14 and worked in a coat check room and as a drummer in order to help his mother pay the bills. The passion for music inspired him to start the International Musician Magazine and along with it, his successful career. Now he owns several publications and magazines spread all around the world, but he still manages to find some time to play drums in charity events along with his band. Last on the list, number 10. Brian Blair's childhood had nothing to do with kindness and protection. He was forced to know all his life lessons right from the streets of Los Angeles. After his father left the family when Brian was only 13 years old, his mother got into drinking and the young boy left school to join a street gang. As tough as it sounds, at the age of 15, his main goal was to survive. He faced juvenile detention, he was involved in robberies and he took part in many dangerous fights, but he ended up being one of the most inspiring success stories in the world. Blair started with a computer repair company, and then he made his breakthrough in the millionaire world with Visual Sciences, a multi-level marketing company. His autobiography, Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain, quickly turned into a successful bestseller, and he was declared the entrepreneur of the year in 2012. Now that's a turnaround story. Well, there you have it guys, that was 10 rags to riches entrepreneur stories. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.